Okay, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips, where I, as an average golfer, much like you, test some of the leading tips that are out there from our favorite golf YouTubers. Today's video comes from Alex Elliott Golf. He's got some absolute nuggets going on right now in terms of snippets of information that just might be the secret to unlocking some success on the golf course for you. And I think this one is an absolute gem. So today's video is gonna do two things. It's gonna help you get that club squarer through the impact location when using your driver. It's also getting you swinging on the up when hitting your driver, both that can promote and help better drives off the tee. And the way we're gonna do it is learn from the man himself, John Rahm. Now I can't promise that you're gonna start playing golf like him, but you will at least set up your address position when you next step up to your drive and trust me this one works now i should point out at this point of the video this is my interpretation of alex elliott's uh, video explanation so i may get this wrong and i will include the link down in the video description below go and check out alex's video for this and loads of other useful information that will help your golf game i can guarantee so the one thing this focuses on is your setup position with driver in hand and trust me it changes significantly but with kind of obvious benefits really and it's how you address the ball now as we normally would do i'm going to position the ball in front of my just inside of my left lead foot standard position where i'd uh, put my ball for driver and my standard position for the driver head would obviously be directly behind the ball now we're going to change that and like i said we're going to change it quite significantly and we're going to move it back and we're going to move it back almost two driver club heads backward into our position now what that does is uh if you think about it logically it's going to mean the first thing is is we're going to start to swing on the upslope if we deliver our low point down here or back here then the obvious thing we're going to do is start to hit the ball on the upswing that in itself will produce very very positive results and very very positive results when you compare to the opposite which is teeing up this way and the potential of hitting down on the ball which as we know can be a huge negative so the first thing it does is encourage you to hit the ball on the upswing but that is only one of the positives of this new john rahm setup and the second one being just where the club face is in that impact position in terms of being open or closed and it's quite simple really it'll be more closed now why is that a positive well because most average golfers hit a wide open club face slice which means basically if going back to our sort of standard position we swing as normal come in at the low point the chances are our club face is open set up with that position just two club heads further back and what happens you're further in in terms of the swing of the or the arc of the swing and as you know naturally the further you go in that swing you can't help but do anything else but start to close that club face up so it does two things like i said we're hitting on the up and now all of a sudden there's a potential that we're closing that club face a little which is meaning that we're also not going to fade that ball now don't get me wrong these things need practice it's not a case of standing up here moving your club head back two spaces and all of a sudden we're going to be fine in the middle of the fairway like john rahm and let's also not kid ourselves that individual lessons are always going to be specific to your particular swing but we also can't ignore that i've been trying this the last few rounds and these little bits of nuggets of information might just be the key to unlocking your game and in this case it certainly helped me and i know that if you give this one a try i think you'll be pretty impressed right let's give it a go and see if we can actually find a fairway i'm going to take a step back a second so i'm going to aim sort of at the bridge which is center of the fairway um I'm going to keep my standard position at first. So all I'm doing is my normal settled position. I'm addressing the ball where I normally would. And then I'm just going to take it a couple of clubs back, club heads back that is, and then see if we can execute the swing from here. Well, I'll tell you what, I said it was on the bridge. That has not moved from the bridge. 
Now the first hope is, is first of all, that ball stops. I said it was on the bridge and it has not moved in terms of the line, but what did it do and why did that happen? Today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner, Glencore Golf. And this week they've sent me out onto the Algarve in Portugal, where I will be playing three different golf courses, Quinta de Val, Quinta de Ria, and Quinta de Cima. And I'll be staying in nearby Tavera at the AP Cabanas Resort. The hotel has a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match. And this resort has an all-inclusive option. Pour yourself a beer, a glass of wine, and take the hassle out of golf trip planning. The nearby town of Tavira is just minutes away. Today's video is shot at Quinta de Val, which is quite simply a beautiful golf course in superb condition and a clubhouse perfect for post round drinks with a view. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencourtgolf.com for some more booking information. First of all, the big noticeable thing for me is how much I sort of accelerated through the ball and almost pushed off. And what I mean by that is because my club head is starting back from the ball, I felt like I sort of needed to start moving forward again, which is a huge positive. Alternatively, I'm sort of at my normal address position and I've got the potential of hitting down on the ball. I needed to make sure that I shifted my weight and got myself through the ball. And straight away what that did was brought that club face up in terms of um, hitting the ball on an upward strike, which was really good, ball flight really good. But it was the fact that, as you know, I hit a fade on pretty much all of my shots on driver in particular. That ball did not move. And I have to say, I played in a pro-am last Friday. I adopted this after watching a video from Alex last week. And I thought, I'll give it a go, why not? I hadn't even tried it on the practice range. First drive of the day, it worked, and obviously I carried on with it. And I've been having huge success with it since. So. Don't forget the recap it's quite simple i mean this is not a technical um video it's not something when i watch alex's videos they're very short and sweet they're like i said i keep using this word a little nugget of information that can just unlock a little bit in your game so again recap dead easy we're gonna hit this ball like john rahm is the potential we're gonna take our normal position we're gonna move the driver head back by sort of almost two stops if you like and then once we get there all we're doing swing as normal let your club head do its thing and then just see what kind of positive action it has on your ball and where it goes down the ferry that's the hope at least anyway right the response to the first one of these is really good don't forget this is the third series but we've not done them for quite some time and the idea is i'm going to be bringing these to you every single week so for the time being every friday you're going to see at least one of these videos and perhaps another one in the week during the summer when we're all out practicing our game and i keep watching lots of videos and i'm going to try them out for myself from all the top youtubers out there and uh, see if i can relay that information once i've tried them out for myself right big thing i would ask for please consider subscribing hitting that like button give me some feedback if you go away and test it come back to the video and let me know if this was successful or not for you because don't forget your fellow golfer will read those comments if he sees it's working for other people he might go and give it a go for himself just don't tell your mates anyway right thanks for watching i'll see you all tomorrow night